The new Unity 6 behavior graph consists of action nodes, which execute an action, and when the action is finished, they return success, and then the next one in line is getting executed. The execution is done by sequencing nodes, which decide which node is run at which time and in what order th these nodes are run. This can also look so in here we are logging the first message and then we're logging the second message. I've built a small state machine here. On the top we have a switch statement which is based on an enum which has all these different state names such as patrol, chase, attack and eat in it. And then we have a restart modifier node which restarts if the behavior state enum has changed. And then, for example, in our patrol, we start off by triggering our ground locomotion animation, then logging to the console. Then we have the sequencing node run in parallel until any succeeds, which first of all lets us patrol along waypoints. This can never succeed, so this is running all the time. Then we have the detection from targets, and if we detect target, so this node would succeed, we would set our behavior state to chase, so we change our behavior state, and then our restart node would get triggered and switch to the current behavior state, which we have chosen. If our hunger is less than a threshold, uh, this one stops running in parallel because this one succeeds, and then we set our state to eat, and we would go into our eat state. Or so you may think. So in our current flow, each node is getting called one time and it's waiting for it to either succeed or fail. Our detection logic actually is running until we detect a target. That's because this node only returns success when it actually finds a target, so it keeps running itself. But this is a bit different for the conditional nodes. So for example, the conditional guard here. This is either true or false with the first call and it's getting called only one time. So in order to check every frame if our hunger is less than a specific threshold to go to the eat state, we would need to create a new node which repeats the child node until it succeeds. But if another child node of the run in parallel succeeds, this repeat will also stop. So here you can see our tiny little ghost patrolling until he is too hungry to keep on patrolling. So until the hunger threshold is met. And then it would switch to the eat state.